Kim, I don't believe, did that. Mike Tyson contends that he never did anything wrong, but Paula Deen did at that point in time. Who knows what was in Wesley Snipes' mind? So there's Vanessa Williams. She now has the crown. For Arnold, it was a get out of here and move along scenario, trying to tie this to Ray Lewis. It was a very difficult case. It's always going to be known that Mickey Rourke had a criminal history. Here we go again, celebrity rehab. The shootout was the culmination of a rivalry between Little Kim and fellow female rapper Foxy Brown. Little Kim tells the court she doesn't recognize him. But what she said was quite frankly nothing short of stupid. She denied being at the scene of a crime when there's no question that she was there. Because if they have concrete evidence that you're lying, that is a felony. And that's exactly what happened to Little Kim in this instance. Tyson's wife, actress Robin Givens, goes public with accusations of domestic abuse. The former undisputed heavyweight champion has been charged with criminal deviant conduct, confinement, and rape. The defense was somewhat odd, if not mysterious. The defense was that Mike Tyson is this big, bulky guy with these negative tendencies, so stay away. He fell so fast, so quickly. Paula built a multi-million dollar food empire. But when allegations of racism emerged, the world discovered that the grinning chef also had a dark side. She categorically denies each and every allegation that was being asserted against her. Strategically, what Paula Deen did at that point in time was not really the best thing to do. When an evening's partying leads to violence and ends with Ray charged in a gruesome double murder. Here we have what I would call a recipe for disaster. We have a late night of drinking. He was with two other individuals, and one of them actually brings along knives. The burden of proof is beyond a reasonable doubt. That prosecutor was unable to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Lewis or his co-defendants actually committed the crime. So the result was an acquittal. But whenever you hear the words Ray Lewis, it makes you wonder what really happened outside of that bar on that evening where two men died.